Okay guys, so we are here again with Scrawny and Insane Rabbi. This is their matchup uh, earlier today. When, uh, when is this, guys? This is Arena. I chose random, he chose G GDI. Uh, right off the bat, I know GDI is pretty slow, so um, it's gonna take him a while, and Rabbi is known for harassing a lot, so I knew if I got a lot of econ, he might hurt me a little bit, but I should have more econ than him. So we both, I start with the generic, Crane, crane build. Outpost. Uh, outpost. I think you do two refineries up here, one down here with a uh, barracks, in, with a uh, war factory, mm -hmm. instead of a um, second refinery down here. Because I need to get those tanks out because I knew he was going to rush. Yeah. Um, my strategy as GDI, because he went random, uh, I, I went for a one base rush strategy. Quick predators, get him in as fast as you can, and take out his blue harvesters. Uh, the problem when you do that as GDI instead of Nod, because I usually do this rush with Nod, the predator tanks are extremely slow, uh, as he was stating earlier. So the problem is by the time they got there, they were almost useless. So what I was trying to do down here, normally people who don't really know how to play the game bring it down here to put their refinery here. Mm -hmm. I actually messed up, and I was only going to make one refinery. Uh, but it ends up going right here as opposed to down here, so it's going to take longer. Uh, normally you do this strategy when you have two refineries, but since GDI's unit is 50% slower to expand than any other one, you got to get it out pretty quick. So like, I think I'm just sitting here waiting to place my building. Just well, it looks like you get a quicker war factory that way, though. Yes, it's true. I mean, I'm just sitting here. This has been done for like 10 seconds, waiting to put it down, and then it goes down. Yeah. Get the war factory. That'll make a, another one of these guys as opposed to just building another one of those. So now I can build more war factories and get you up another one. Okay, so at this point in the game, you managed to work your way down to the blue Tiberium. Mm -hmm. You got your refinery up. Uh, defense, offense, what's going on as of that? Uh, I think Rabbi's going for. I already your have offense. predators on the way. Oh, he's already got. Yeah, I have spikes. a. I have my scout going, and I have a uh, engineer in the bottom spike, so I'm getting some economy from that. But the main thing is, I pump out a couple harvesters real fast, and then I just spam with predators. The hope is that I'll have four predators before he has one. And using that number alone, I basically keep pressure on him until uh, he, he folds. Because I can reinforce two every second, and so can he. The thing is, eventually he'll get a third war factory, and then the numbers change, obviously. So the rush I tried is to basically get predators in there as fast as possible. Okay, now there's a battle going on right there. What's going on? That's just my scout versus one of his predators. Okay. Which one? All right, so there are six Tiberium fields in this map, correct? Yes, there's two and blue and four green. Okay, now at this point, Scrawny's managed to work his way to his third Tiberium, and you... He looks like Scrawny has a I got my three of five. War factories. Um, he has well, vision because he's scouting. I put my scouts over here. I put my infantry run over here. He didn't have the blue Tiberium, so I put him in here so I can see when he goes there. I think I eventually try to expand there, which doesn't work. Uh, basically, what I'm doing now is just exploring, just kind of see what he's doing. And now, if you uh, go to the bottom left, I believe, I want to see how many predators uh, a little up to the right of that. Yeah, okay. see, my rush, uh, I'm used to doing this rush as Nod, not, uh, not um, so basically my GDI. GDI. My little thing distracted him from attacking me. Now he's trying to kill this thing, so that's going to kill his crane. So he should be attacking me now, which right. he would have the advantage, but this little tiny thing kind of made it so that he couldn't harass yeah. anymore. So it gives me more time to get more tanks. All right, nice. So yeah, you're able to have a good defense. So then it, it dies, but it was way worth it because now they got it. Now Because now I'm an extra to 20 seconds behind on my rush, which when a predator builds every 11 seconds times three war factories, that's six predators. So uh, he's trying to build the second one, though, which is right. good. That's what I did. Well, right, um, so you lose power at this point. No big deal. Though. You got one. Got two cubes. Always freaks me out. Yep. All right, power's back. I have another battle going down here. Those little uh, yeah, that's my scout. Um, basically, my scout sees that he does not have predator tanks or any defense down there. Okay. Therefore, I still feel it's safe to rush. But if you remember how I was this. 20 seconds late on that rush. Yes. As you'll notice, check him. He already has five, seven predators out. Excuse me. To my mere uh, nine. Yeah, it's about nine. Uh, I have five oh, up front I saw them because of this. You shouldn't yeah. have that. I should have. I should have just ran by that. The reason I uh, didn't is I thought that you would be trying to actually take my node back. Um, now that my rush is scattered and late, I can the, kind of pick them off. Yeah, the fact that I'm in in a one base economy strat right now uh, is extremely painful. Basically, uh, Scrawny is mining from three different fields, and I'm merely mining from one. Looks and like yeah, two. one. Um, the thing is, right there, here, yeah. yeah, I do end up forcing a harvester away, but it's nothing much. I am outnumbering him in predators right now, but he's producing three at a time because he has three war factories to my two. Uh, he did have to, you know, 
retreat a little bit. I'm, I'm obviously winning the battle right there. Uh, the problem is he can pump so much faster than I can Yeah. that life's looking pretty grim right now. Uh, he's going to lose his blue Tiberium, but... Oh, no, he's not. I take that back. It's close. It's pretty much it's, due because my other guy's got to run away yeah. and heal, and I forget about him, so... It's a good harass because it, it pretty much gets it away. I can't use it right now. Problem is, I lost six tanks to do that, which nowhere near worth it. Uh, I do end up taking out one of his middle uh, refineries, it looks like. I end up selling it, I think. Uh, most likely. Yes. Yeah. So he sold it for what gold he could, but as you'll notice, my yeah, army sure. is diminishing for these harassments. Uh, like I said, I'm used to playing Nod where their tanks are faster and I could run away without, being, without losing the tanks. Um, those are the Scorpion tanks, correct? Yes, those yes. are Scorpion tanks. They're much faster, and they do about the same damage, they just have a lot less life. Alright, so... Okay, let's right here. Also, go to the top real fast. I was harassing the top. See, my Predators are right there. I may kill that Harvester, I may not. Yeah, that's end up one, because it was already hurt. I knew you'd try to kill it, so I just... Stuck it yeah, I don't believe I kill it. I, I mean, the problem right. is, I failed in my harassments with and my rush yeah. on the home base, putting me at a severe economical disadvantage later in the game. And because of that, Scrawny took full advantage and leaned on me, so... Let's right. go back to the... All right, but Scrawny has zero income coming in as of now. I mean, what, it's, what are you it's supposed to do right It's now? due to the harassment that I did. Uh, he's not getting any blue uh, temporarily. I forgot about these two guys. Yes. One sitting there. Should so, be doing something. So harassing makes it so I have to concentrate on other stuff. Right. I completely and forgot about this guy for a whole match. So it has other benefits than just killing something. But now I have to focus on other things. So right there I tell all my harvesters to run because I don't want to lose them. Right here I'm going on two fronts. I have my main army up here to take out that. I think I backed them up. Have these guys get in there and try to do something. They didn't do much now. Yeah, I actually see them. As you'll see, I diverted my army right there to the bottom. And then I also send the harvesters uh, back relatively soon. Uh, I don't believe I kill any of your predators though. Excellent micromanagement, good retreat. Basically, um, at this point, as I was earlier, I saw that he had nothing here, so I sent a surveyor over there, which is one of the really slower expansions. I did not know he had these here to get to it until I did that. Those are just out of range. Yeah. yeah. So I think I caught a blink of it, and I tried to sell it when he got to it, but you can't sell it on this building. So I just retreated, and I was kind of on two fronts, which is bad. I think I should have just pushed over you. Oh, uh, you wouldn't chance. have. I couldn't have. You wouldn't have. I, I equal producing. number predator you. Uh, the only problem, and also with the repair factor of the of the uh, war factories, I would have actually stopped you. But you do have three full bases pumping economy to my two now. So I'm actually okay. So the base expansion didn't work. His yeah, his attempt to third. that's really hard to do though. <laughs> yeah, to take my blue Tiberium, not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, if if you can take your opponent's blue Tiberium on this map, that's a good game. So I, I sent everything I had to make sure that didn't happen. Right around now I started to tech. Um, I figured I got it in the bag if I just control it and tech. I, most people go for the rail first and just the rail. I tend to go for this thing, which is, uh, gives you the two abilities. The shockwave. Shockwave and, and the zone, zone trooper, which I'm a fan of. Uh, I think I do a zone trooper drop back here because you see a lot of players do. Uh, uh, if you'll notice, my harvesters are sitting still yet again. I had to move them around to dodge his uh, front ass assault. So I've got my main thing here. He's got main thing there. I think I go for the down some. There they go. Now my harvesters are mining again. The problem is, of course, I still haven't even touched my blue Tiberium. Yeah. Um, it's probably a huge disadvantage for you. Okay, there oh, you absolutely. Now up. The blue Tiberium's worth you know, double. Up. Yeah. And I'll sell one uh, soon. Just kind of. Yeah, I wanted to get his attention here so I could drop the zone troopers. I did the spy. And then the zone trooper pods. I think I end up throwing down the shockwave to try to Most take out Most likely on my uh, guys, you will. But oh, those seem to be very effective. They are, uh, especially taking out like a weaker building such as a crane. But oh, so I there see goes your crane, and there goes one of your harvesters. Yeah, Basically. I moved uh, the other two away because I saw that happen. Uh, so now are, are, are you going to take out his MVC? I'm gonna try. I end up doing this thing right on this to do more damage, and right? Make it so he can't build. And all I the can't while I can't build. I distracted his tanks to go down there, so I can come in. The lag and replay seems a little to be bit of lag. Out. <laughs> too quick here. Too much. We have too much oh. APM, my friend. So ended up. We're at two frames. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, and all these predators are gonna make it in time to save your MVC. Uh, they're not because they these are guys not. are coming in right behind, and I end up getting the rail upgrade, which pretty much makes it done. You can get a rail upgrade for the predators. Yeah, yes. the predators are predators predators no man, kidding. Man. It doesn't do that. anything though. See, although he got rail, all right, so his MVC's done, and you have no more cranes up, right? I think they shoot quicker. He has no crane up. He has no. So nothing. he cannot build anymore. Essentially, he did build I mean, he could, it, one of his war rooms could put up another one, but I mean, he's not look 
the time's not too hot right now. It's yeah. not there. So right there, I lose a, a couple of my units. Uh, I actually tried to hold off as long as I could right there, but that was a mistake of mine. Uh, with the rail, it still takes six shots, predator versus predator, so I didn't feel as though I needed it. Scrawny here stated that he, he thinks they shoot faster, so I'm going to look into. Because if they shoot faster, obviously it's worth it. But I'm not sure. I hold them, I hold them off here. The problem is, since he has the tech already. Our right, some PC's up though. Managed yeah, I managed to out. pump one out. Uh, if you'll notice, I'm actually at very low money right now, I believe. Or maybe this is the point where I actually. This is where you have. Money. I'm sorry, it's MCV. That was my bad. I got yeah. the V and the C mixed up. Me too. Yeah, you had full money here because you hadn't touched this yet, so you're getting a ton of money through this. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a strategy to get it later almost. It can be, but you lose so much one. early game stuff. It's Now it's you haven't really sold one of them. Are you eventually going to do that, or is it pretty I, too late in the game? To I may, I may not. I'm not certain. I The reason I probably didn't is I was expecting my other harvesters to go up to blue so I could mine four at blue, get it even faster. Uh, as you can see, he brings his tanks over. But the other thing... At this point, finally. Um, Mammoth tank assembled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, why aren't you mining your second, Scrawny? Your your second green is that? I probably forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that is the reason. Okay. Uh, well, I did have one there once again. That's why you were asked. And your mother wants yeah. to sit there. I forgot about it. That's yeah. It's totally hard to sense. notice because you're hot keying the key, the things that are here. And just All right, now let's go back up to that battle though. I want it over. Yeah, you, you, this is what I did. You basically, I knew this army was going to be gone, so I started pumping mammoths. Uh, my thing was kill this uh, thing. Bottom no of my what. base, probably his own trooper drop. Uh, oh, there's the basically what I, I wanted to get these things as far away as possible, so he had to run all his tanks back to kill me. Oh, so his tanks are cornered so now. I could, now. Right, I, I cornered his tanks up there, except he has three mammoths at my base oh, right see, now. I want them to be cornered because I want his tanks to get as far away, so they're far away from helping right. these guys. And now there's a second uh, MVC, and you're just gonna take it out. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, I believe you do take it out, but That's the problem like, is I I lost a lot of predators down there. And especially without rail, without rail it takes 25 shots from predators to kill a mammoth. With rail, it's only 18. Uh, obviously, a big difference. Right, I try, so and move try, the try to move it not fast enough. I believe I actually do get it away. So all your guys up there that chase me up there now. Yeah, now I gotta go all the way back. So right by then, I think I have more coming. Yeah, you should have. Check your yeah, yeah mammoth tank go. assembled. There you go. So yeah, there, that one's almost done. Yeah, and you're gone. pumping. Wow. I think I got some. Quite a few cued there. Yeah. All right. And, so now uh, these are. Oh wow, they're managed to get a war room too with those three. Yep. And the fourth yeah, one, they got the rail upgrade. Yeah. I mean, with Why rail, they'll kill buildings so fast, and they take one less shot to kill a predator. Now, do those three mammoths have to worry about those predators? I mean, are they that big of a threat? Well, micro, they do not. They have a little bit more range than predators, as you can see by him Backing doing the reverse up. move. Yeah. So in counter of that, of course, I back off. Um, I was basically backing off to get with my two here a little bit, a little more time, so then I can easily overpower. So right here, I try to uh, go up to him. The thing is, yet again, he does a a good uh, job reverse moving them. I will try and kill that one uh, mammoth. The problem is I don't target anything. Just basically attack, put aggressive click, mode. attack, click behind, and they just their rockets just do the work. Yeah. Much. The the problem at this point is rail plus mammoth. Wow, those mammoths are running over those predators. Absolutely. And yes. what what was the ratio? They're like two, three to one. Oh, more than that. When you get when you reach a critical mass with a range or with a unit that has more range than the others, it gets to a point that you can't even hit them. The problem with six mammoths versus eighteen predators. Before my that's game by the way. Game. Before the front line of predators gets to the mammoths, they kill them, and then the ones behind it have to come in. They'll kill them, and it, it's basically my predators can't even fire because the mammoths kill them before they get there. Uh, overall, the game, you know, I went for a one base rush strat. It was unfortunate he also was GDI because the mirror the mirror matches you always you know want to get all three bases going, all three economies. Uh, put some early harassment on, did some damage, but it wasn't enough, and he overpowered me. Very nice, guys. Well, thanks yes, for coming sir. out to the Game Shack. Looks like some really great matchups we've seen Thank tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, we're out for now. Uh, Scrawny, Insane Rabbi, second place finisher, played in the tournament. <laughs> to get a monster. To get a monster. To get a monster. <laughs> and uh, we're done. Uh, be sure to tune in to House TV every month. And uh, be sure to come every Friday night for our C3 Monster Challenge.